Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chatty video, a little bit of a get to know me. I wanted to discuss me starting an Etsy store. I've already began to do the graphic designs and start to work on that aspect of the Etsy store. So I wanted to know if that's something that you guys would be interested in purchasing some of the items that I show here on my YouTube channel. I do get a lot of people inquiring about um, wedding pieces, centerpieces, and you know, things that they would like me to make for them that they see on my channel. I am going to start making myself more available to that. That's something that I'm going to be tapping into. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see and that you're interested in. I do have a few ideas for the Etsy store. I will start posting pictures and products um, probably next week. So give me to like the first week of May and I'll start posting things and giving prices and you know let me know if it's something that you guys would be interested in seeing and what items, what hot items you'd like to see at the Etsy store because I do want to help you guys out with the event and I do want to be able to tap into that side and make this more of a business instead of just a social media platform. I also am an artist, which some of you know if you've seen some of my previous videos, I do paint. Before I became a YouTube DIYer, I was an artist and I have always loved to draw and paint. That is my passion. I did not go to school for it. I just have picked this wonderful talent up since I was a kid. I did take a course in college, which did help me to expand my techniques in painting and learn about scrivito and just different techniques that you can do to paint to make the textures pop off and the colors mix better. So I did do that. So that definitely did help. But that is like one of my true passions. It is one of my escapes. It's something that I really do love to do. I I want to show you guys some of the paintings that I have did previously, which I'm also thinking about adding in to my Etsy store. Let me know if you are interested. So here's some of my paintings. So the first painting I'm going to be showing you, it is actually an oil painting that I did. It was my very first oil painting. I did do this in my college course that I took. It turned out amazing. If you guys have ever seen the movie, The Girl with the Pearl Earring. So the whole assignment for this painting in my art class was for us to take a character out of a movie and to design it into someone who we felt like the character should look like. And so I took this character and I turned her into this beautiful woman and I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite paintings and I actually am going to be adding this onto my Etsy store. This painting does hold near and dear to my heart. I learned how to shade and to blend. You can see the detail in this. It is absolutely amazing. I'm very proud of this piece. It's not that I want to get rid of any of my art. It's just that I want to start tapping into my artistry and start selling the things that I do make. I will be selling this on my Etsy store. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you guys do like pieces like this, let me know. Okay, love. So the next piece that I'm going to be showing you is actually an African safari painting. It's a silhouette that I did. And basically when I first moved to Atlanta, Georgia, I was heavy into like African art. I actually started a series of paintings like this and it was um, just African safari, you know, silhouette type paintings. And I have another one I'll show you after this. But these are my favorite types of paintings to make. It pushes my creativity because you have to blend colors. And it's not just about the black space. It's all about like perspective, right? Like the sun rising and like all the colors in the sky. I'm obsessed with sunsets and sunrises. And so that's something that I really enjoy seeing. This painting means so much to me because these are some of the paintings that inspired me to move to Atlanta, Georgia. I don't quite know the dimensions of these. I think this might be a 16 by 20. Don't quote me. I would definitely have more details on Etsy. So this next painting is another one of the African safari paintings that I did. This one holds near and dear to my heart as well. Um, you know when you like tap into a gift and you're like, wow, it's so natural to me to paint these things. This is a giraffe in the middle and his reflection in the water. And then there's the sun and then the clouds and it's a sunset on an African safari. There's the water at the bottom. This is so beautiful to me. And I just love stuff like this, right? 
I hope you can see it. And so this is another one of the paintings that you will see on Etsy. I hope you guys like some of this stuff. Um, I really just need to start venturing off and become more of a businesswoman. These are my passions. These are my dreams. I really do love art. Like, um, if you can't tell from my DIYs, like I have a passion for these things. I want to help people. I think art is such a beautiful form and it's definitely up to one's own you know perception and we all can see something different in a piece you know um, things like this just bring me such peace you know nature in itself is such a beautiful thing and I myself love nature it is a dream of mine to go to Africa to go on a safari to see things like this to witness a sunset a sunrise and so I'm inspired by these sort of things so everything that you will see in my painting collection will be things that I really do like things that I really do I really do like and there's some emotional ones um, that I painted and oh my god wow so like just being an artist you know it's weird how you can interpret how you're feeling on a canvas it's so interesting I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about in my next painting. So this next painting is an expressive painting that I actually did in my painting class again. And um, you know, it's so crazy how you can be feeling an emotion and bring it through in some sort of an art form. Let me give you the story on this piece. Basically, it was an iconic painting that my teacher instructed us to paint. So I painted the eye, and a little bit about me, I am obsessed with eyes. Like, I really do believe that you can know everything you need to know about somebody by just looking at them. Our energy is drawn from our eyes, right? Like, you can tell if someone is truly happy or sad just looking into their eyes. I hope you can see the detail in this, right? Like, oh, uh, this was like one of my favorite eyes. And of course, her eyebrows are on fleek. It goes hand in hand. And then I went ahead and I added the splatter colored um, paint the different pinks and the blues and the and the yellows and I really liked it it was abstract it's very different and I remember I got a phone call in my art class you know how you take the first relationship that that person has moved on to and you're like wow they really moved on I didn't even realize it but I came back to my classroom after the phone call and just unconsciously I didn't even realize that I was doing this I added black tears to the eyes and I didn't even realize that it was correlating with how I felt at the moment but it turned into such an expressive and beautiful art piece after that. It was so unconscious to me that I was adding my pain to my artwork and you know you never know like what your true release is like art truly does release me so that's the story with this piece here and I'm also gonna add this to my Etsy store so this next painting you guys probably have saw in my video which was 2016 was like the worst year of my life which will describe a lot of the things that you see going on in this expressive painting this is one of my favorites I'm not quite too sure if I'm ready to sell it if you didn't click the link right here and you can check that video out I pretty much just talk about how 2016 as a black woman was very difficult for me and I'm hoping that this year will continue to be a really good year it's already starting off really really well this is another one of my favorite paintings paintings it is very deep very emotional I love this mostly because I was able to tap back into those artist skills this painting symbolizes a lot of current day things that are happening in the political realm in a lot of people's lives as well as that were happening in my life so if you watch the video you will see why I have these emojis in the belly in the womb of this woman here She's so beautiful and all the different colors pop off very, very beautiful. I love this piece because I feel like I made this and I made that video and like for once I actually said what was on my mind and um, I actually, you know, just didn't hold anything back and I allowed myself to be my true authentic self. So I'm really grateful for this painting 
to come out the way that it did. Okay love, so this next piece I absolutely love. It is a sunrise. I love the texture and the difference in the color contrast from the top to the bottom. There was supposed to be sand at the bottom. I didn't finish it, but you know how artists are. Sometimes we don't finish things, but this is one of my favorite pieces. I absolutely love this. I definitely want to create more pieces like this. I'm showing this to you because I just want to show you guys the dimensions of art that I can do. So hopefully I can get this finished and add it on the Etsy page as well. Let me know if you like to see pieces like this. So next off we have this canvas painting that I actually did with spray paint. You guys probably have already saw this on my channel. If you did that, click the link above. You can check that video out. I want to make some t-shirts first out of this and do some screen printing in black and white shirts preferably and have it in a gold bar just like this and just press it down and see how it looks. I think that's going to be a really hot beginning for some t-shirts and if you guys would like to see those t-shirts and maybe purchase some let me know down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you would like to check out my etsy shop check out the description box i will have a link to that as well as don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram facebook and twitter i'm going to be a little bit more interactive in the future you guys just let me know what you want to see what you want to hear what you want to talk about i'll start you know integrating more of that into my youtube channel as well thank you guys for watching don't forget to click right here to subscribe to my channel and click right here to watch my previous videos you guys are the best i hope you're having a fantastic week follow your dreams and your passions and the money will follow simple as that have a blessed day and i'll see y'all later